Hello. My name is Humphrey Solomon Jr. Welcome to my channel. Our today's video presentation is about using Casio ClassWiz calculator in solving complex number operations and integer powers. Before we continue, please watch my other tutorials about math lessons, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. In today's video, I will use the same presentation I made for the lesson about complex number operations and integer powers. Let's start with our first example. Here in example number 1, we just need to turn on our calculator first. Make sure we are in complex number mode. So how do we go to complex number mode? We press, menu, and go to number 2 by pressing the right key, and then press equals key. After that, we just need to enter the complex numbers that we need to add, the quantity 2 plus 11i, plus the quantity negative 7 minus 3i. Take note, you have to use the ang button to input the imaginary number, i. Then press equals key to see the answer, negative 5 plus 8i. Now, let's try subtraction using Casio ClassWiz. Here in example number 2, we need to check if we are in complex number mode again. After that, we just need to enter the complex numbers that we need to subtract, the quantity 2 plus 11i, minus the quantity negative 7 minus 3i. Again, you have to use the ang button to input the imaginary number, i. Then press equals key to see the answer, 9 plus 14i. For example number 3. We are still in complex number mode. We just need to enter the complex numbers that we need to multiply, the quantity 2 plus 11i, times the quantity negative 7 minus 3i. Then press equals key to see the answer, 19 minus 83i. For example number 4. We are still in complex number mode. We just need to enter the complex numbers that we need to divide, the quantity 2 plus 11i, over the quantity negative 7 minus 3i. Then press equals key to see the answer, negative 47 over 58 minus 71 over 58 i. For example number 5, multiplication of complex numbers in polar form. First, we need to set up our calculator in a way that we will have the output in polar form. So how do we set up our calculator? First we need to press shift menu set up buttons consecutively, and then we press the down key to access the next page of the menu, and then select polar form of complex numbers by pressing the button number 2. And now, we input the complex numbers in polar form. We have our first complex number, the modulus is 15 and the argument is 45 degrees, times, our second complex number, the modulus is 3 and the argument is 30 degrees. Please take note that, we use the shift ang buttons consecutively to enter the angle symbol before the arguments of each complex number. Then press equals key to see the answer, the modulus is 45 and the argument is 75 degrees. I will show how to put the answer in rectangular form in example number 7. For example number 6, division of complex numbers in polar form. While we still have our calculators output in polar mode of complex numbers, we will input the complex numbers in polar form. We have our first complex number, the modulus is 15 and the argument is 45 degrees, divided by, our second complex number, the modulus is 3 and the argument is 30 degrees. Please take note that, we used again the shift ang buttons consecutively to enter the angle symbol before the arguments of each complex number. Then press equals key to see the answer, the modulus is 5 and the argument is 15 degrees. I will show how to put the answer in rectangular form in our next example. Example number 7, complex numbers with integer exponents. We still have our calculators output in polar mode of complex numbers. We will input the complex numbers raised to an integer exponent. We have the quantity, 4 minus 3i, raised to 6. You will see that we are expecting the output here in polar form. So, when we hit the equals key, we will have the modulus as 15625, and the argument as 138.78 degrees. If you want to have the output in rectangular form, we need to set up our calculator again by, 
pressing shift menu set up buttons consecutively to see the menu, and then we press the down key to access the next page of the menu, and then select rectangular form of complex numbers by pressing the button number 1. So now, we can have the output of the calculator in rectangular form. The answer is, 11,753, plus 10,296 I. I hope this video helped you on how to use your Casio ClassWiz in some operations with complex numbers. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons below. Also, click the bell icon to get notified when I upload my next videos. Please share this video with your friends to help them learn more in math. Have a nice day.